difference in your confidence from year two to year one? Confidence, yeah, I think uh, confidence you get through playing. Mm -hmm. So being able to grow from the first season has helped my confidence tremendously. Okay. How do you think you've grown as a player? Uh, what sort of things are you doing now that you weren't doing then? Uh, I've grown as a player. I think I've gotten a lot stronger, um, experienced. Um, I think those, uh, I think, again, I think the number one thing is just being able to play and, and learn from uh, learn from your mistakes. I don't know if it's more quantitative or qualitative, but how would you capture just the strength gains that you feel you were able to achieve this offseason? I'm sorry? I don't know if it's more like based on weight or <clears throat> strength differences in terms of what you're repping or anything like that, but like how would you capture just what the strength differences in your game? Oh, right. I, I just feel, uh, feel more sturdy, I guess, uh, less easy to push around. Uh, feel like it's a lot easier to push push people off the ball. You think having that increased strength might help you play with, I don't know if you feel like you need it even, but like just more edge, and plus particularly with next to Richie confidence, Cognito. Right, confidence, yeah, just the whole, uh, all, all those factors uh, helped me tremendously. Colton, when, when Richie says, sorry, when Colton said, when Richie says, that he wants to bring some of that nasty streak out of you and wants to get you out of your shell a little bit. What does that mean? Uh, I think that's just speaking from a guy that's played 15 years in the league. Um, that those are some of the best qualities that are in alignment, and uh, you know I'm glad to be working with him, and uh, I hope to learn learn from him every day. Craig Olson was saying that hey, we can't hold it against Colton because he's a nice guy. <laughs> do, you, um, do you do you feel? I mean, do you feel like? Do you think you're not too nice? Do you feel like you have an edge to you? <laughs> <laughs> Try to get you mad at me. <laughs> oh, am I, am I supposed to answer that? <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I think we're just uh, guys got to focus on perfecting their craft every day. And uh, you get a whole lot of personalities out here. And I think the important thing is, is coming together as a team and getting better every day. What's it like learning from a guy like Trent Brown who's just coming off the Super Bowl winning your position? Oh, I, uh, he's he's been a big help. Um, just uh, you know, small um, small details that he's just shooting shooting at me, um, helping me with my craft is uh, it's been really helpful, and uh, you know, I hope to learn more from him. You mentioned that the last five games of his rookie season were really big for him entering his year two. Has has he shared any of? that thus far or have, did you have a similar experience where you felt maybe the way last year and it might be able to carry over for you yeah you know, again he's uh he's I've asked him you know about his uh, past experiences and uh, you know he's he's uh he's shared with me um, you know what programs he's been in and um, and what's helped him and uh, I, I try to pull from that for sure with Pat's coming on what's your focus I guess from this point in camp on like what are you trying to really have your attention on when it comes to your game um uh just refining everything um pushing my teammates um trying to trying to get better as a team as a whole um not only working on minecraft but pushing pushing the guys across from me what are your impressions of cleveland Clint Farrell, what are your impressions of Clint Farrell, he, he's a he's a he has good speed and, he, and he's strong um i think you know he can hold the edge i think he'll be an immediate impact on our team. Do you look forward to when pads come on? Is it something that you like now I can now we can really work the way we would on right. the field. That's how football is played right with pads. So <clears throat> having that extra piece is gonna be very helpful. How much pride did you take from making it through last year? I mean it's no secret that you weren't hundred percent but you still played every game and Rudin has talked about that being kind of a big deal for as a rookie. What, when you look back on it, what's the benefit of that? Playing at less than 100%. I think you learn a lot more about yourself. Uh, you're challenged in things that you wouldn't think you'd be challenged in, and uh, I think that's helped me grow as a player. Um, and uh, things that I thought I didn't need work on, um, that that uh, enlightened it, and I was able to get better from that. You battled through that knee seemingly all season, but once it came in, you, you were playing through it pretty much from the get-go. Was there ever a time where it was especially difficult to do that? And just, I want to kind of pinpoint your moment of most of greatest adversity when it came to pushing through injury. Oh, <clears throat> well, my injury happened. It was uh, the series before the half at the the Browns game, and 
the injury happened and I went down and uh, uh, Derek was like, get up. And that like, that just was, that was it for me. I was, you know, we we're gonna finish the series out and um, taped it up and and uh, finish the game out. So uh, yeah, there's been times, there's been plays, um, there's been games, but I think just learning to push through that is, you know, it, it's really helped me as a player. For that the game where you guys won, it was, I think it was like 45-42, it was a crazy right. game. Yeah, and there was a lot of injuries that game too. Right. Yeah. For it yeah. to be that type of a game, did that kind of just put some added seasoning on that moment for you? Yeah, as a rookie, you know, fourth game in, and you know, that, that being thrown at you was, uh, it was a big, uh, it was a big curveball. Yeah. You obviously have to deal with the physical aspects of it, but do you really need that, that that mental toughness each and every week to be able to still grind through and present yourself? That me, uh, me compared um, compared to last year around this time is completely different. Uh, you know, you're not the off season. You're not um, practicing your 40s or your shuttles. Um, you're just working working out and. Uh, um, yeah, this year I just feel way better, way more confident. Uh, I feel feel really good. What's it like to have Rodney Hudson in a meeting room, and how much of an asset is it to have a center like that who's so knowledgeable? Rodney is super smart. I think he identified every pressure. I'm not I'm not sure if he's he missed one pressure last year. So he 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 gets the game for sure, and uh, having him on the team is a huge asset. You guys a couple do, more guys. Like some teams, and if you don't. No big deal. But some teams do like player only meetings each week leading up to a game just for going over things as an offense or even as a position group with the offensive line. Do you guys do some of those things and if so how vocal is Ronnie in those? Yeah, we um uh yeah, we do those every week and there uh there were four games and usually we'll hit up on uh what the teams like to do, what pressure, what what loads they'd like to bring. So um but honestly he's like the mastermind of it, like he he sees it and uh you know, I can I can bring the, the slide to to us. So, um, yeah, he's he's great.